Hey guys, this is Vaish from Vaish IAS and uh, this series is just to show you the MCQs which we have in store because uh, most of the students are not there in Facebook and uh, they have been requesting about the uh, requesting me about the details of uh, a test series and all. We are not launching test series because uh, anyway a lot of channels are doing that. We don't have uh, resources or funds right now to uh, build up a portal for that. Uh, but we have a lot of MCQs for every subject and students have been buying it after watching our series like we have the history series history in detail whether it be ancient medieval or modern we have elaborate uh, videos being uploaded every day and then uh, geography series also started economics is also there except for polity i think everything we will be giving you insights now and then okay and uh, mcqs are daily being posted in facebook page students are coming and answering it but for those who don't have it uh, you can contact uh, us at our email id that i'll show you at the end of this video and uh, if you are already following Facebook, then continue doing that daily 5-5 five, five questions. It's uh, going to be a very good thing in the long run. Okay. And buy MCQs from all the good sources which you know, but don't buy just because their uh, maybe materials are good or their optional subject is good or maybe some aspect is good. That just because of that, don't believe like their, their MCQs also would be good because I know a lot of institutions which are very good in their current FI magazines or maybe their uh, optional subjects. But when it comes to MCQs, it's not of UPC standard and it's kind of lot of uh, copy pasted information from here and there. Okay, it's not knowing or it's not relating to the pulse of UPSC, which you will be knowing if you have been following the last five or six years current affairs, uh, sorry, five or six years previous year papers, you will actually know what UPSC is asking, how they are framing the sentences, whether match the following question is asked, whether current affairs is being picked up, how much static is there, how much character, everything you will know. So you should buy only that reliable MCQs because now we have only four months. And we need to start practicing. Don't think just one month continuous style practice and I'll be able to do everything. Problem is your mind or your brain cannot grasp all these things together, okay? Because a lot of factual information we learn every day from the Hindu VC, PIBVC, schemes and all. I'll take another video for schemes, okay? Schemes in India. You, you will study a lot of schemes. Even the ministries, you will get confused whether it's a central sector scheme or whether it is a centrally sponsored scheme or whether two, three ministries are coming together and making it with then when is the deadline of each scheme. It's very difficult to capture everything in one shot. So daily, daily you should study a little bit. Okay. So anyway, uh, today is, uh, the topic is science, tech, space and defense. Okay. It's in one single PDF. We have everything. Even in environment uh, video, I showed you some sort of science that is biology related information are put in the environment PDF also. But here science again, whatever is there in the news, whether our uh, DRDO or BARC, anybody or uh, ISRO, they come up with something or there is a hackathon or a uh, cyber security related thing. Such things and all MCQs will be coming in this PDF. Okay. Space missions, defense mission, everything, military exercise. I will show you sample exercise, sample MCQ anyway. So let's begin today's video with a few questions. So the first one. Which of the following are matched correctly? Formic acid, ant bite, tartaric acid, grapes, citric acid, lemon, ascorbic acid, amla, and oxalic acid, vinegar. Okay. So now either you should be very smart enough that without any preparation you should be able to do this. But these are anyway basic things which is picked again from the 12th standard NCRT. Okay, 12th I think biology NCRT this thing is mentioned. Biology or chemistry NCRT I think this is mentioned. Okay, I don't remember from where we picked it up but it is an NCRT question. And you basically last time also if you remember they asked like similar kind of nasty following where three things were there in the left like lead and uh, I think uh, brominated oils and uh, uh, one more thing was there. Uh, the MS, uh, MSG, the monosodium glutat glutamate which was there in the news last year. And against them, like against lead, it was given lipstick. Against uh, brominated oil, it was soft drinks. And against uh, this MSG, it was uh, noodles, the Chinese fast food. So that three, everything was two, one, two, and three was the correct answer in 2017. But students did not expect such a nasty following. Okay, it was like I think five years back and all, UPSC keeps on doing these kind of things, matching the elements with the product. So this is again a similar question in our PDF. Okay, science and tech PDF. So try to answer it. Pause it. If you don't know the answer, it's okay because this MCQ is just for your learning sake only. So I'll tell you the answer now. Answer is 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, everything is not true. The fifth one, oxalic acid is something which is there in spinach and in vinegar it is actually acetic acid. So totally with this one MCQ, six acid names you will be learning. Okay, five is given in the question and acetic acid is given in the explanation. So six acids, six products you got, they will ask similar things only. So please try to get these MCQs from us so that you can ensure your success in 2018. Second one, again a current affair thing now, which is space plus current affair. So 2018 marks 60th year of NASA. Okay, I don't know whether you people know it already, but if you have been a serious aspirant, you will be knowing that fact. Now, which of the following missions of NASA are incorrectly matched? So this 
it's an ABCD question, so it's good thing is like three will be definite. One, two, three. I mean, any three will be wrong, right? So you have to just eliminate and then find out. They are asking incorrect, so three of them are correct, and most of them we would have already studied, so it's easy to eliminate choices. And if you come down to at least two choices, you have 50 percent, 50 percent chance. Then definitely take that chance, okay? Or if you have cleared the cutoff easily, even without answering such question, then fine, don't go for it because we need just 60 questions out of 100 to be correct. It's actually 55, but try to go for 60. Always try to make 60 questions correct without negative, I'm telling, okay? Aim for 120 marks out of 200, and uh, we'll be sure, like, we'll be through uh, prelims, okay? So, first one, Parker Probe, Sun Study, Osiris Rex, Asteroid, Bennu, Insights, Mars, and Aspire, Mercury, okay? I think the first two you would have seen in almost all coaching materials, and you will eliminate A and B, because both are correct. C and D you will be having doubt, Aspire, there is also scheme in India, Aspire, try to found, find out what is Aspire scheme in India, uh, but this is the NASA mission they are asking, so I will tell you, Insights Mars is the correct answer, so answer is, correct answer means it's, it's true, so answer is actually D, okay, so that is Aspire is not for Mercury, Aspire is again for Mars, the 2020 mission of NASA, uh, they have that, uh, this thing, uh, parachute kind of launching, which, which will be, uh, drop. they drop it in the, uh, this thing. Mars planet, okay. So that Aspire P actually stands for parachute only. Try to find out more about that. So this is two questions now, one from biology and one from space and current affair. Now two more questions. That is first is about the PSLV. We keep seeing PSLV news every now and then. ISRO is doing a great job, we know. But do we actually know the specifications of PSLV? Because we see PSLV C40, C20, C35. We keep seeing it, but whether we know the basic specifications. So if you see first statement, it is a third generation launch vehicle designed and developed indigenously by ISRO. Okay focus on every part of that statement okay then second statement it is a four stage launch vehicle and first indian rocket to have liquid stages okay third one it has launched historic missions like chandrayaan 1 mom that is the mars mission and irnss that is navic okay whether all three were there then its second stage uses an earth storable liquid rocket engine known as vikas engine okay if you read in from any source about PSLV, all these four statements will be there in it, okay? Any coaching institute you take, any magazine, any website, wherever you read about PSLV explanation, a small paragraph in 100 words, these four points will be definitely there. Actually, all these four are true, okay? So, if you don't know, it will be a learning for you. Make a note of all these things, it's true, okay? Next question. Uh, recently, Union Agriculture Minister declared that rinder pest disease is eradicated from India. It is actually what? Rinder pest, that is uh, what they are asking. A worm infection on cotton balls, viral infection in cattle, bacterial infection in poultry, or fertilizer induced disease in humans. Okay, so four different kind of options. If you know at least something about it, you will be able to answer it. Okay, so let's see the answer now. The first one I told you, four statements are correct. Second one, it is a viral infection in cattle. Okay, this one was quite simple because cattle, you would have read it. Okay, it's about cattle. But suppose in choice, they'll give, give like it's a viral infection, then it's a bacterial infection. Everything they'll give cattle, suppose. But you don't know whether it's viral or bacterial. Then again, it's a problem. So now at least learn like it is a viral infection in cattle. Okay, don't confuse whether it's viral, bacterial or uh, fertilizer or worm or anything else. Okay, so this is again two questions. One again space and one again. Uh, current affair plus this medicine related thing, science, science healthcare related thing. Now again, UPS is very favorite topic, the military exercises. There are tons and tons of number of military exercises happening every now and then. But with respect to India, whatever happens, we need to learn. Okay, we definitely need to learn. And which ever happened in this year, especially like any new thing, that also we have to know whether it's the first time such exercise is happening. Whether if it's like happening since years, then it's okay. So, you, here it's a different, like tricky kind of question, it's not directly asking uh, about countries, it's asking like, which is the exercise in which both USA and India are definitely involved, okay, five exercises are given, you have to tell both India and USA are definitely involved. So, Yuddha Abhyas, Cope, Red Flag, Malabar exercise, Eastern Bridge, so you have to tell whether all five are correct or whether anything is wrong, try to think, the answer is, 1, 2, 3, 4, all are true, okay, Malabar exercise, you know, even Japan is there, Australia used to be there, now they are not there, and they all, all those four countries also from the quad grouping, try to find out what is quad grouping, so 1, 2, 3, 4 is correct, fifth one is actually between India and Oman, okay, so now you will be thinking, how will I memorize all these things, that is where we have the 
why shy is chart as usual okay for every country every uh, country will involved with india okay not the other ones with india we have like this segregated that to even army navy air force special forces like this we have segregated also so even if any tricky or in depth question comes then also you will be able to answer okay because usa if you see they have this yuddha bias malabar pop india and vajra also okay special was vajra actually will be there somewhere else also so don't get confused again for russia it will be like indra indra navy avi indra okay and if you see indra dhanush is actually with uk so just don't blindly study like all indra related things are russia okay this is just basic thing we'll be any day updating it whenever new things come up to prelims date we'll be keeping on updating such charts so whenever you buy it you will get the latest chart only so don't worry so this is about this question i think five questions we have done okay again one more page is there so totally eight questions we are doing today okay so all these things where there is the news okay first one gelatin recently developed by indian scientist is what that is the first question technology to suppress effect of aedes aegypti mosquito incubator system used for genome editing compounds to recover marine oil spills water based ready to coat fire resistant compound actually all these four were there in the news but which one is gelatin that is what you have to tell for all these four there are different different terminologies next one moon shot seen recently in the news refers to what it is a code word for chandrayaan 2 mission which is going to come in 2018 only then google's innovative projects facebook's drone project spacex mission to the moon in 2020 again all these things are there in news but which one is moon shot now which one of the following are true which of the following are true about trappist one okay first statement it is a dwarf statement larger than jupiter in size but cooler than sun in temperature then seven exoplanets have been discovered to be revolving around it okay so they are telling it's a star kind of things smaller star but uh, size is more than jupiter but temperature is cooler than sun and seven planets are there then at least three planets revolving around it has been considered to have possible habitat for life so whether all these are true or not so three again good questions all picked up from the news so try to answer it the right answers are Gelatin. Gelatin is actually compounds to recover marine oil spills. Okay, simply Google it if you don't know. Even in Hindu, it will be there. Then uh, moon shot. This is actually Google's innovative projects. Okay, so don't get confused. Ec Facebook drone project is something else. I think Aquila or something. Okay, some other name is there. And SpaceX. Lot of things are there in the news. Try to read about it. Trappist one. All these things given are true. So there is habitat possibility in three planets out of the seven planets. revolving around this trappist one okay so eight good questions according to me have been picked up and shown to you so try to get all the i think around 200 mcqs will be there for science tech, tech uh, space and defense and it will be all like this okay which our sample questions i showed you whether it's military exercise whether it's a space science biology chemistry for memory where questions are there so there's no compromise in the quality so try to get it these are the prices i am not reading it out payment will be online either uh, paytm or you can uh, send to bank account that uh, details you will get if you email us at vaishupac@gmail.com or the facebook page with where you always come and answer our questions okay so other more subjects are going to come more videos like this i think schemes in india will be the next one i'll show you different different schemes and how upsc frames questions is going to be very useful for you just four months are there try to get them practice well and i want all of the students who are watching this video at least to clear prelims in 2018 okay so i'll come with the next subject soon till then thank you and have a nice day